Alrighty. I read Where the Forest Meets the Stars in my book club this month um, by Glendy Vandera. Vandera. And I'm going to do a quick little five minute or less review on this book. On the back of it, it sounds like the synopsis sounds like it's this really depressing story. Um, after the loss of her mother and her own battle with breast cancer, um, this girl, Jo, she is like a scientist and she goes out in this excluded area and she's going to like study birds and her to like prove to herself that like her hardships haven't broken her. This little girl shows up, claims that she's from the stars and she can't leave until she witnesses five miracles. It just sounds depressing. Whoever wrote this wanted someone to read the back of this and be like, wow, I really would enjoy like reading a very sad book. I would have never picked this book based off of the synopsis. I'm so glad I wasn't responsible for choosing because it was fantastic. Like this story, not at all what I expected. I mean, yes, there is, you know, Joe does go out to this place, like the lead character. Her mom had recently passed away from breast cancer. She had overcome breast cancer. So there's some really like serious topics. There's mental health. They talk about depression, anxiety, um, trigger warning for child abuse. Um, but it's not like, it doesn't take over the story. And I don't know how the author was able to, you know, incorporate all of these different elements that are really <laughs> difficult to talk about, to read about without it taking over the story and making it sad. It was very much um, like uplifting. And the whole story also is about this little girl. She calls herself Ursa, says she's from the stars. She doesn't actually say that. She says she's from like another planet. She has this whole other planet. So essentially like this alien child. And you're trying to figure out the whole time, like what is going on with this kid? And um, you know, is she an alien? Is she not an alien? Is, you know, is this girl actually losing her mind? You know, she's out there in the middle of nowhere. Like it's just so much going on. And you're like, what the heck is going on? And then the ending is like, oh my gosh, ties everything together um, in a way that you're not expecting, but you're like, oh my gosh, yes, like that could make sense. I'm, I would give this book four out of five stars. The reason I did take a star away, because I'm speaking so highly of it, is I do think there was a few things that were unexplained. Like you were waiting for it to wrap up and it ends, and then you're like, okay, this is the story. This is what happened. And then as I'm sitting there like the next couple of days thinking about it, I'm like, mm, but what about this? Like, but what about this? So things to me personally didn't really make sense with how it ended. I don't know if there was a change as she was writing it, if she changed her mind throughout, like, okay, we're going a different direction or this is how we're going to tie it up. It still was really, really good and different from anything I've read lately. And I've been reading a lot. Um, so yes, I would recommend it 100%. It's a fairly quick read. For me, it was quick, just over 300 pages, like 320 pages. Um, but a great example of don't judge a book by the cover or by the synopsis, because the cover is kind of cute. Um, so if you read it, you want to talk about it, I want to talk about it. There's more I want to talk about. I'd be happy to go over it in the comments and share also the parts of the story that didn't make sense to me for how it ended. Um, so potential spoilers in the comments. If you haven't read it, don't go there but definitely recommend um, checking it out.